Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. That is my Toyota. The Mercedes OM617. That is my Ram with the VM648 or whatever. It's an Eco Diesel. Um, so I'm going to show you guys today how I process the fuel that I use in both of these trucks and that power stroke when it's running. Uh, every diesel ever. You can go... You can do this a million ways. There's a million ways to skin a cat, and, and this is my way, and it works for me. It works in that truck, it works in that truck. So, kind of wanted to show you how I do the whole thing here. This first barrel with the sheet is like my holding tank, and I just kind of roughly filter and let it sit in there. From there, I pump it through a 100 micron filter into that barrel. Um, then I run it through a centrifuge into the, this barrel, which I left open to the rain like a dipshit, and now it's full of water, but I'll deal with that. Um, well, it's not full of water, but it has some water in it. Not too much you can get through a two inch hole. But anyway, uh, here's my oil that I pick up every Friday from my restaurant. My friend Derek sets this out for me. You can see that it's full of shit we don't want in our engine, obviously. Uh, so a filter, like a sheet filter like this, well, somebody just said hi to me if you guys didn't hear. Um, we'll get you down to about 500, 600, 500 microns, something like that. Doesn't really matter. I use these like two or three times. I kind of half-ass rinse them off and then I throw them away. And I buy another one from the Wally World. So uh, I'm going to try to find my stand and you guys can watch me pour oil if that fascinates you. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what you're left over with. Some french fries and stir fry and I don't know, you know, breading bunch of gross bullshit um at this point i take the sheet off i take it over there where i don't want anything to grow and i dump it out and raccoons and squirrels and rats and whatnot come to feed on this and my cat comes to feed on them and the circle of life is complete uh to my point earlier about how you can do absolutely nothing this jar has been sitting here for a couple weeks and you can see all the bad stuff fell down to the bottom and at the top you just have clean-ish oil. It always has that brown color until it goes through the centrifuge a couple times, but if you were to just siphon off the top of this and put it in your tank, it would run. So I'll bring you guys back for the next step. All right, so once that's done, once it's run through the water heater in the centrifuge, it sits in there, and then I take it off the bottom, I pump it till it's clear, and then I bypass this system and route it back out, which is what's going in this 15 gallon pail here. So I'll let, I'll pump about 10 gallons into that and then I'll put about five gallons of gas into that. I will shake it up, let it settle for a week. And then that's what goes in the trucks. So I'll bring you guys back I take it off the top, by the way, and then I dump the rest out again where, like back here where I don't want stuff to grow, um, pretty much where it goes. So I'll bring you back when it's settled and done. There's not a lot to it. I've kind of just found this to be a lot simpler than what I was doing with all the extra steps. So I ran down to the gas station. I got some 87 octane E10 here in America. That's what's standard out of our pumps, nothing fancy. Uh, we got about 12 gallons in there. It's hard to see, but it's pretty clear. It's almost, at the centrifuge is amazing. amazing. Um, and the gas does two things. It thins it to the consistency of diesel, and it also helps knock the water out of suspension, um, which is part of the process of making biodiesel or whatever. But like I said, nowadays, I just go ahead and... Uh, do this so I'm gonna pour that in there and 
I'll show you we mix it up a little bit and that's kind of it so this is it like this is the whole deal I siphon it out of here into my tank I'm working on another pump with some like pre-filtering going on so this has like a pre-filter and then a normal what you'd consider a normal like 10 micron filter like most diesels um, I'm working on a pump that has a 10 micron filter on it as well so I can filter it a little bit before it goes in but like you can see and here we're pulling it out of there into the tank that's how we drive so about a dollar a gallon not too shabby let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer